everyone. Welcome to Samagra Siksha Siddhi Pet. I am B. Shokumar. Today I am going to take a lesson simple equations for class 7. Students, what is a simple equation? A definition is an equation with one variable and having degree 1 is called a simple equation. Example x plus 3 is equal to 7. Here x is only one variable and whose degree is 1, x power 1 only. Therefore, it is a simple equation. Students, let us consider one more simple equation. 2x plus 3 is equal to 13. And in this equation, 2x plus 3 is an expression which is left sides of the equation. Therefore, it is called as LHS. And 13 is another expression which is right side of the equation. Therefore, it is called as RHS, right hand side. And in this simple equation, x is the variable. It can take any value. And uh, 3 and 13 are called constants. They are fixed values. And 2 is multiplying to the variable. Therefore, it is called as coefficient. And the degree of x is 1. And in this e equation, we have only one variable. That's why it is called as simple equation. Students, to solve the equations, we are using two methods in this class. One is without transposing method and another one is with the transposing method. And today we are going to discuss without transposing method. And in this method, we should not transpose the terms from LHS to RHS and RHS to LHS, but we need to find the value of X. So to understand this topic, let us consider an example. That is, solve x plus 5 is equal to 8. Here, in this equation, we need to find the value of x so that LHS is equal to RHS. Means, what should be the value of x so that the equation satisfies? Now, x plus 5 is equal to 8. Without transposing, we should eliminate 5 here. And to eliminate 5, then we need to add, we need to subtract 5 on both sides. When we subtract 5 on both sides, the equation cannot change. That is, x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 8 minus 5. A plus 5 minus 5 get cancelled. Then x plus 0 is equal to 3 and x is equal to 3. That means, 3 is the value which is satisfying the given equation. x plus 5 is equal to 8. Even if you check, that means if you substitute x value in the equation, so 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, that is 3 is satisfying the given equation, therefore it is called as root of the equation or solution of the equation. So let us consider one more example students. Students consider one more problem. Solve 2x minus 3 is equal to 13. Here also we need to find the value of x. Now, without transposing, we should find the value of x. Now, if you can, if you observe LHS carefully, in the LHS, 2x minus 3, and here 2x is a algebraic term, and minus 3 is a numeric term. First, try to eliminate numeric term from the LHS. To eliminate numeric term from LHS, we need to add plus 3 on both sides of the equation. Therefore, the equation becomes 2x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 13 plus 3. In the LHS plus 3 minus 3 get cancelled and the equation becomes 2x is equal to 16. Again, here we need to find the value of x. Here 2 is extra. 2 is a coefficient. Now 2 is multiplying to x. To eliminate 2, we should divide it. Therefore, divide 2 on both sides of the equation. That it becomes 2x by 2 and 16 by 2. And 2 to get cancelled in RHS, 2 1 the 2 8 the. Therefore, x is equal to 8. That means, x is the solution of the equation or root of the equation. Students, let us consider one more example. 4 minus x is equal to 2x plus 8. And in this equation, if you observe, the variable terms are on the both sides of the equation. Here in LHS minus x and in RHS 2x. Now to find the value of x here. Now we should make x alone in the left side. For that one, we don't want 2x in the right side of the equation. First try to eliminate the algebraic term from the right side of the equation. To eliminate 2x, we need to subtract 2x on both sides of the equation. Then the equation becomes 
4 minus x minus 2x is equal to 2x plus 8 minus 2x. And in the RHS, we can eliminate plus 2x and minus 2x. Then the equation becomes 4 minus 3x is equal to 8. Now, in LHS, we need to eliminate this numeric term plus 4. To eliminate plus 4, we need to subtract 4 on the both sides of the equation. Then it becomes 4 minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 8 minus 4. And that is minus 3x is equal to 4. Again, we need to find the value of x here. Minus 3 is the coefficient. To eliminate minus 3 from the equation, we need to divide minus 3 on the both sides of the equation. When we divide minus 3 on both sides of the equation, the equation cannot change. Therefore, minus 3x by minus 3 is equal to 4 by minus 3. In LHS, minus 3 minus 3 get cancelled and remaining will be x. And in RHS, 4 by minus 3. Therefore, x value is equal to minus 4 by 3 and minus 4 by 3 is the solution of the equations students please check or verify the equation with this students let us consider one more example 2 of 3x plus 1 is equal to 5 of x minus 3 now if you observe carefully here in LHS 2 is going to multiply the binomial that means, according to distributive property, 2 should multiply 3x and 1. Therefore, LHS becomes 2 into 3x is equal to 6x plus 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Similarly, in RHS, 5 is going to multiply the two terms x and minus 3. 5 into x is equal to 5x. Then, 5 into minus 3 is equal to minus 15. Now we have expression 6x plus 2 is equal to 5x minus 15. Again we observe two algebraic terms on both sides of the equation. Therefore try to eliminate RHS algebraic term that is 5x. To eliminate 5x subtract 5x on both sides of the equation. Then equation becomes 6x plus 2 minus 5x is equal to 5x minus 15 minus 5x. So in RHS plus 5x minus 5x get cancelled. Then the equation becomes 6x plus 2 minus 5x becomes 1x plus 2. And in RHS only we have minus 15. Now we got a simple equation. Now try to eliminate numeric term from LHS that is plus 2. To eliminate numeric term plus 2 subtract 2 on both sides of the equation. Then x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to minus 15 minus 2 and plus 2 minus 2 get cancelled in LHS therefore x is alone now and in RHS minus 15 and minus 2 that is equal to minus 17 therefore x is equal to minus 17 is the solution of the equation or root of the equation ok students did you enjoy the lesson ok try to solve the remaining problems from the exercise. Thank you for visiting my class.